Paul Tanzillo has been a football referee for 12 years, a path he started because he loved the game. I played in high school and college and I felt like I wanted to give back to the game and I thought uh, refing would be the perfect opportunity to do that. But Paul isn't the only Tanzillo that refs. His son Russell also played college football and couldn't stay away from the sport he loves. My dad brought me along at uh, one of his games and uh, the rest is kind of history. Just kind of followed in his footsteps, fell in love with officiating, being out on the field, being feeling like I'm involved in the game still. For the Tanzillos, refereeing is a part-time hobby. Paul works as an attorney while Russell is a radio on-air personality. But football continues to bring them together. He's been involved in my, my football life, my, my older brother's football life since the beginning. He, he coached us and then through high school uh, gave us pointers. Um, so I, 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 can, I, think, I look at it as a way of continuing uh, our bond with football. I'm sure we drive my wife and his mother crazy during football season because we're always looking at game film together. Uh, he'll ask me to look at his. I'll have him look at plays from mine. We talk about different rules and how they would apply. Refereeing a football game can be fun, but there's a lot of work behind it. It's not as simple as showing up to the stadium. Paul is part of an experienced five-man officiating group. The crew chief, Octavio Herrera, leads a pregame meeting that often lasts longer than an hour, where the group tackles all sorts of rules and evaluates their past performances. I thought all of our calls were very well supported by the film. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. Our season actually starts prep, uh, prepping uh, in July uh, and we attend uh, at least a couple meetings a week starting in July all the way up until when the season starts in late August. We prepare before the game. We have at least an hour and a half pregame every week. We talk during the week. We film review during the week. There's a lot of rules and there's a lot of uh, philosophy around those rules that you have to study and be aware of. So I think people don't realize the amount of time and effort it takes for us officials to really dive deep into the rule book and really understand everything, all aspects about those rules. This specific game that the group ref happens to be a playoff showdown between Bolingbrook and Warren, which they were assigned to because of the high ratings they received from coaches during the regular season. While Russell has ref lower levels together with his dad, he's at this game to chart penalties and learn from the playoff crew. It's a perfect opportunity to mentor uh, younger officials to kind of see how we go through our game preparation and especially the excitement of the playoffs. I mean, this is what, what we work so hard to achieve is to get our crews into the playoffs. With each year, there's less and less refs and finding young officials is a major challenge. The IHSA and other similar organizations want to find passionate young people like Russell. My personal goal would be obviously to get to that Division I level, maybe even eventually the NFL, and I think starting young is very important. Um, we don't have a lot of young officials coming out anymore. I think the, the number's down for sure for as far as young officials coming out. So um, I think people look highly on young officials as they're going to take the game and to the next level. Refereeing, a part-time job that allows you to stay connected to sports. For NCTV 17, I'm Kamen Anchev.